Hello guys, my name is Philip, and the mask I hide behind is Donut Deflector. Welcome to another video. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to go through an installation of Ubuntu Minimal. Ubuntu Minimal is basically a 40 megabyte ISO image that you can get from Ubuntu.com, and it's going to grab all the software it needs from the internet while it's installing instead of just on the disk. It will also set you up with less unneeded software as well, or software that... Uh, you might not even need. So this is more for an intermediate to advanced user. Beginners, stay away from this until you feel like you want to tackle it. Learn a bit more about your system before attempting this. So in this tutorial, I'm going to assume you already know a bit uh, or about Linux. Let's say you're a beginner to intermediate user on the threshold um, and want to get a bit more experience down with Ubuntu, but you want to do a minimal install this time. You've come to the right place. I'm going to assume that you know how to put the ISO image on a flash drive or CD, whatever medium you're going to use. So let's get started. Right here, you're going to be presented with a few options after you boot via the medium. Install, command line install, advanced options, which has, of course, advanced options, and help. I'm going to be choosing install here, so just press enter. going to wait here. Um, in this tutorial, I won't be able to cover absolutely every single aspect of Ubuntu Minimal installation, but I'm going to be covering as much as I can in a reasonable amount of time. So right here, uh, you're going to be presented with a menu that says select a language and instructions on the bottom part portion of the screen. Just follow those and you should be absolutely fine. So right here, we have languages to select. Now, just choose the language that you want to use during uh, the whole installation and afterwards as well while you're using the system. I am doing this in a virtual machine. Uh, things should be the same to uh, for you as well, though. So English is what I'm going to be using. The country, territory, or area. Uh, select the location you live in. If um, a place you live in isn't in this um, list, then choose other. And right here, just choose the region you live in, and then the country you live in. After that, it'll tell you to configure the keyboard. Now, you'll be able to either the uh, installer detect the keyboard you're using, or do it by yourself, which is what I usually do. So I select no. Now, you just have to choose the language of the keyboard you're using. Mine is English US. And then the layout. Um, the default here is QWERTY, which is what I use. Um, there's also a few alternate layouts for you, Dvorak, Programmers Dvorak, Macintosh, blah, blah, blah. So um, choose accordingly to the keyboard you're using. All right, here it's going to be detecting the network hardware. So if you have Ethernet, uh, you'll be fine. It'll do everything automatically. However, if you do have wireless, it will ask if you would rather use the wireless or Ethernet. Uh, if you choose wireless, it'll just set up with the uh, set you up with a menu that will say um, uh, it'll it'll um, show a bunch of different networks you can connect to. So just choose accordingly and then put in the password for that uh, network. Right here, we are presented with a host name to choose. Which one shall we choose? Uh, host name will be basically uh, what the computer will be known as on the network. I just you can name it anything you want. I just choose Ubuntu Minimal VM just to describe my virtual machine. It can be descriptive, which is always helpful, or it can be anything really. Name it after your favorite element, or an anime character, or a book, or a, a company or something, I don't know. Or a three-letter government agency. Alright, so press enter and we're presented with choosing a mirror. Um, basically, this is where the computer will uh, go to get the software that you need to install. Choose a mirror that, uh, just choose your country here, and if your country isn't displayed here, then choose a country that is relatively close to the one you live in. In my case, I live in the United States, so that's what I'm going to choose. Ubuntu Archive Mirror. Basically, just follow what it says with a suggestion. Usually, your country code .archive Ubuntu com is a good choice, and I'm going to stick with that. I don't have a choice anyway, it's the only one it gives me. HTTP proxy information. I've never done this before, and I don't really think that many of you would need to um, set this up. 
I just leave it blank because I don't need an HTTP proxy. Alright, so now it's going to um, be getting everything it needs to finish the installation. This will be things such as the uh, boot bootloader, installer, uh, partition man maker, and uh, all those kinds of things. So all you have to do now is wait, and um, I'll meet you there after it's all done. Options after you boot via the medium. Install, command line install, advanced options, which has, of course, advanced options, and help. I'm going to be choosing install here, so just press enter. Alright, so it has completed. Now what we're going to do is set up our user and passwords. So, um, Ubuntu Minimal will come with two users, the root account and your user account. So, your user account is just going to be you. So, full name for the user. Choose your name. I'm going to put mine in. And I do my first name and then my last initial because I need to hide my identity so I can continue my elite hacking operations. And it's not good if everybody knows who I am. But you can just put your full name here, like it says. Choosing a username for your account, I just put my first name. And it is the default, which is what I stick with. Everything has to be lowercase. You can add numbers to it as well, though. Choose whatever you want. Alright, so... um. Now what we're going to do is set up the password we're going to use for the user and the root account. It'll be the same password. So uh, choose something that you like to use. Just make sure it isn't something like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 or something. Alright, now we're presented the choice to encrypt our home directory. Um, this will just be mounted on and off easily when you um, log into your account. So you won't have to worry about doing any fancy stuff here let's say you're gonna choose yes just it'll set up everything by itself configure the clock um, it'll try and automatically detect the time zone that you live in and if so say yes but let's say it is wrong because it's a computer and the computer always lies so we're gonna choose no in that case select your time zone um, so basically it will be based off of the country that you chose that you lived in so I live in Eastern and it chooses the right one uh, all right I'm gonna have to wait for it to set everything up we're set up with um, we're presented with uh, disk partitioning stuff you have a few options here guided using the entire disk uh, do the same but with LVM and do the same but with encryption or you can use manual of course so, I'm not going to be able to cover everything here in a reasonable amount of time, so I'm just going to assume you're going to be using guided. And, uh, yeah, so select the disk you want to partition. Remember to choose your hard drive and not the flash drive. Check with the capacity and the labeling. Make sure that it's the hard drive you're installing to, or the SSD, and not the flash drive, because that could be pretty bad. Alright, so Guided will automatically just set you up with a root partition that is ext4 and a single swap partition. Alright, changes to disk. Just look at everything and see if everything's fine and choose yes. Alright, it's installing the base system. Now all you have to do is wait. Uh, check on it every once in a while. Make sure that it um, didn't totally mess itself up. Alright, so what we're going to have to do is um, say if we want to do automatic updates. Now, uh, if you do want to do automatic updates, it will only do security updates uh, by itself. No automatic updates means you'll have to do a sudo apt-get upgrade if you need any updates. So, choose what you want. Uh, I'm going to choose no automatic updates here. And it'll continue on. Just wait a bit more. Alright, so here you're going to be presented with a whole big menu of things you might want to install um, with the installer instead of doing it after the installation. Uh, there's a whole lot of things you can choose from. 
uh, things like desktop environments, <laughs> a whole bunch of desktop environments here, fonts, and um, server stuff. So, um, yes. So, I'm going to go through a few of the basics that you might want to do. Basic Ubuntu server. Well, that's basically what you're going to be set up uh, if you're using Ubuntu server. Open SSH server is for st uh, if you need to SSH into the machine, which could be useful. DNS server is um, if you're going to be... Um, DNS server is something you, you will need if you're going to put the machine onto... You, you're going to need to put this machine on the internet. LAMP server is... Um, LAMP server is basically for transferring files back and forth. Mail server, so if you want to set up an email server. Postgres SQL database. Um, database stuff. So you need to keep logs or statistics and stuff for a team speak or whatever. Print server. If you ever need to use a printer to print stuff out, hey. Samba file server. Um, this is also to transfer files from machine to machine. Tomcat Java server. I'm not actually um, familiar with this one. Ubuntu Cloud Image. I'm not familiar with this one either. Vir virtual Machine Host. If you want to run some virtual machines, it's going to install a few modules. Um, 2D, 3D creation and editing suite. Auto recording and editing suite. And there's um, desktop environments and a whole bunch of other stuff as well here. I'm not going to go through all of it, but this might set you up with things like GIMP and uh, uh, Blender and such. And this might set you up with Audacity and uh, Hydrogen and LMMS. And there's just a whole bunch of stuff you can uh, look through and see what you want. Fonts, always useful. Uh, publishing applications, I'm guessing things like LibreOffice. Pho photography and stuff, things like Darktable, I'm guessing. But um, you can choose whatever you need. So I'm going to leave you to your own devices. So just um, use space to select things that you want to use, and then enter to confirm everything. So uh, you're going to wait. Just wait for it to complete. All right, guys, so right here you can see it's asking to install the uh, bootloader, which will be Grub. Install the Grub bootloader to the master boot record. Now, right here, what I usually do to make sure that it's not installing it to my flash drive, which it sometimes does, I, I say no. And then I manually enter the device. Now, you should have taken note of the device that you... Uh, what drive that you installed it in. On uh, my case, I it only showed up as one drive, so it would be dev SDA. Remember to take note of that when you install um, Ubuntu for yourself, Ubuntu Minimal. Enter, and we'll install the Grub bootloader. It's going to finish up the installation, configure, and um, install everything it needs. So right now it's asking if the system clock is set to UTC. Most of the time it should, unless you've already installed Windows to the computer. So if um, Windows isn't installed to the computer, then just say yes. But if it isn't, say no. Um, that's because uh, Windows likes to set the system clock to local time. Instead, Linux need, um, would work better with um, the time set to UTC. Alright, so our installation is all done. And now we can press, uh, we're going to choose continue. Finish up the installation. It's going to sig kill. Sig term, man. Um, and um, we can boot right up I'm gonna power off the virtual machine I'm gonna take out the disk uh, of the virtual machine hi uh, I'm gonna remove the disk we're gonna start it up again alright let's see it boot up I forgot to bind keys alright there's a very low resolution boot screen here. 
Ooh, there we go. We can log in now. And there we go. We've in successfully installed Ubuntu Minimal. I've, I did do it without a desktop environment. Of course, you can get it with a desktop environment if you want. But, um, hey, we're and all done is. here. So, there you have it, guys. Successfully installed Ubuntu Minimal. I hope this video helped you out and um, made you learn a bit more about Linux. I'll see you all later.